Hello and welcome to Five Drive School of Motoring. It's Mohammed. I hope you guys are doing great. This is Hubert's real driving test video, um, and he took the test at Thornbury Test Centre, and the time of the test was half two. So let's watch his test video then. Okay, Hubert is at the test center now and he started his test with the maneuver. So examiner asked him to pull out of the bay, go to the right and stop with a straight wheel and then reverse back into any of the bay he likes. As you can see, he's pulling out to the right and then he's going to reverse back into any of the bays, which he carried out absolutely fine without any problem. Okay, so he's done with the maneuver now and examiner is just going to ask him to leave the car park and out of the car park he'll be told to turn right. And then at the roundabout, he'll be asked to turn right to take a third exit. And then you'll be asked to turn left at the traffic lights.
and soon after the traffic lights, they'll be asked to turn right. And then you'll be asked to pull up on the left somewhere safe. Okay, this is where independent driving started for Hubert. So he started his set now from this point, but then again, it can start from anywhere so hubert started it from this point so he's just gonna be following satnav from now on and at the traffic lights um, he will be turning left just before the traffic light there is a keep clear sign so just be careful with that and keep it clear and i would advise you not signal too early for this left turn at the traffic lights because there's a left turn before it um, so you don't want to make it look like you're taking that left okay at the roundabout you'll be asked to turn right to take a third exit toward uh, towards a city center. He's going to be joining a dual carriageway and just before he joins speed limit changes to 40 miles an hour. So when you join this, make sure you've got a decent pace and do look over your shoulder just in case someone is in your blind spot. And Hubert moves into the right lane quite comfortably and he does his observation. Right, at this roundabout, you'll be following the road ahead to take a second exit. Now, previously on this roundabout, one of my learners have failed the test. I'll try and share a link with you uh, for that video. So what that learner did was he moved slightly into the right lane. So Hubert moves off quite nicely and keeps to the left. As you can see, there's road marking to the right. You can see in the middle of the screen. So you need to keep to the left of that, quite close to this road work. Um, on the left so uh, he did it perfectly because we did practice that quite a few times before his test so be very very careful with the road marking and then when it's safe he's gonna move into the right lane And then he'll be told to move into the most right lane because he's going to be going towards a Leeds road. Okay. 
and then he's going to move into the most right lane again as you can see the road marking behind that queue of the traffic because this lane will take you towards a leads road again there could be many test routes from here you could be going straight and taking right in at the uh, not next set of traffic lights but one after towards airport and harrogate but then again on another test route you could be going even straight and go towards bolton lane I believe Leone did that test route. So uh, they can take you anywhere. Just make sure if you are uh, like unsure, you can ask the examiner. But Satna will be very uh, clear with the directions anyway. So you will really know where you are going. As you can see, the traffic light is green, but Hoover stopped before the stop line, which is brilliant because there's a queue of traffic ahead. So if he continued and stopped behind that car, lights could have changed and then he would be in a bit of trouble as you will see in a second the traffic light will change to red so he stopped at absolutely perfect place as you can see the traffic light has changed to red now if he was behind that car you he will um, be in a bit of trouble he could obstruct the traffic coming from the left hand side because it takes a little while till that traffic in front clears so he stopped at absolutely perfect place And from this lane, you can only turn right, and that will be right at this set of traffic lights. And then after following this uh, bend round to the right, it's going to be turning left at the end of the road. And there's a giveaway here, so be very, very careful with that and do look on the right. The speed limit will change back again to 30 miles an hour on that giveaway sign. So this road can be a bit busy. There's a big yellow junction box. Make sure that if there is a lot of traffic, keep it cleared in front of you. So I fast forwarded this video um, on this road because it was um, quite busy um, at half two when he took his test. Okay, and then he's going to be taking the next road on the right, as you can see the road marking. And then he'll be pulling up on the left somewhere safe. And Hubert will be asked to move off again when it's safe to do so. At the end of this road, turning right. And it'll be told to pull up on the left again somewhere safe.
and Hubert will be asked to move off again. And then he'll be taking the next road on the left. Okay, now the road layout has been changed on this road. He's just pulled up on the left here and he's going to move off again. So the road layout has been changed here. It's not the same as it is now in this video because this was recorded a little while ago. Now this has become a one way street. So you cannot go up that road anymore. There's another junction they have made, uh, which goes from the right to the left. As you can see the road on the right, it goes all the way across to the left. Um, and then they have uh, created another road from the left, which goes up on this uh, road. So the road is going on to now it's one way street. Now and you can only and only come down that road. You can't go up that road anymore. It was a bit tight here, who but should be ready to stop. But he tried to um squeeze so well done for stopping here but he should have stopped before as well so probably got a minor there i cannot remember how many minors he got but i'm sure he must have got minor mistake when he had space he should be ready to stop at the end of this road he's going to be turning left and i believe here somewhere uh, independent driving um, ended i think after taking the next road on the right um, it ended so yeah, I'll try and make a video on the new layout uh, of this road. But yeah, definitely the road layout is not the same as it is now. And coming down from this road, you cannot turn right either. So that's for buses only. And then he's going to be taking the next road on the left. Okay, this car was doing reverse parking, so Hubert stopped. When this red car overtakes Hubert, then he realizes he should have uh, continued. If there is space available, make sure you continue to overtake. But if it isn't, then you could always give that learn away. It's going to be turning right at the end of this road. bottom of this road he is going to be turning left And this set of traffic lights is going to be turning right. And at the roundabout, 
would be told to turn left to take a first exit. And after he's taken the first exit, we'll be taking first left turn into the test center car park. Okay, so he's just going to be taking next left and then they'll just be told to park in any of the bays right opposite. Sometimes they can ask you to park in any of the bays on the right. If it goes slightly wrong, don't worry about it because that's the end of the test. You won't be assessed on that, but it'll be great if you can park perfectly. But Hubert is just going to go straight across where that building is. That's the test center. So he's just going to be parked and you'll be given the good result that he has passed the test. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one.